Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had a bit of a trap, <laughs> a very Dark Souls-esque trap. I'm pretty sure whoever designed the scenario had been having a kick on Dark Souls for quite a bit. Uh, I kept the save that was here. I uh, made another save where I got past all of that, went back to the sink, did some inventory management sort of shenanigans but for right now i wanted to show you what happens because for the longest time it took me a while to figure it out see what seems to happen is once you enter the building here it triggers the ambush where yep see the death claw pops down from the roof there and just pure pandemonium ensues. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, it's, in the old games, it was head damage to the death, to the death claw that actually caused damage. Uh, in the newer games, it's the belly. How did you knock him unconscious like that? Oh, wow. Yeah, that went uh, far worse than my first attempt. <laughs> My first attempt, I actually went through uh, and finished it properly. I'm just going to show you how I managed to do it. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I popped some Psycho. Or, you know, the this version's equivalent of Psycho in Fallout 4, which is Slasher. I'm pretty sure I popped that while I went through... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it drops from the ceiling there, once you get to a far enough point. Yep, that's what happens. And, yep, yep, there he is, right there, within easy view, just to start blowing him away. There we go. There we go. And then another one pops up over there, or at least... Another one did once I did this the first time. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there he is, right there. There's the other fucking death claw, right there. I didn't want the jacketed hollow points. Could you stop it? For about five damn seconds. Come on. There we go. Get some good shots on him before I switch back. Oh, geez. Okay, well. This is not working out as well as my attempt where I succeeded. There we go. Well, that kind of worked out. Alright. Jesus. Okay, well, I mean, kind of. Kind of, sort of. Oh, there's another. I don't remember all of these guys being here. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Okay, here goes something. <laughs> Okay, might as well take out this one as well. Even though this is not the save I'll be using. Okay. Come on. Oh, and he's unconscious. And now it's dead. Wow, that's loud in my ear. <laughs> I should turn my headset down. Okay, well, that third one was not there the first time. <laughs> but now that I know, I definitely have an edge in that regard, because, um, yeah, I didn't kill three in my, uh, <laughs> my save where I'm past all of this crap. But yeah, I did all of this, got all of the stuff, and did some inventory management back at the sink. So, with some editing magic, I will go straight to that save. Ta-da! Yep, there we go. <laughs> Alright, now that I know that there is another one, yeah, I should probably show how much inventory magic I did. I got it down past 300. I'm impressed with myself. Now, what it took was changing a couple things. Um, for one, uh, we gave the survivalist rifle. I think I either gave it to Eddie or I put it back in the sink. I don't right recall. I'm going to double check. I gave it to Eddie. Okay. And I have him carrying some of my ammo that I'm not needing right now. 
Uh, the ammo that I'm carrying right now is for the jacketed hollow point, which I'm going to be using specifically and only for the little devil. In the situations where I run into tunnelers and, you know, not as armored enemies. That said, I also gave him some of my repairs, uh, repair weapons, rather, uh, and some stim packs because apparently he can use them. He doesn't use them quickly, but he still can use them, so there we go. Now, now that I know that there's another Death Claw in the area, I could just kill it outright, or I can try to blow up the blow up the little thing there and see if I can just take them out in one blast. I could do that. In fact, I should do that. See if that'll work. Uh, here goes something. And didn't blow them up. In fact, all it did was just expose it. <laughs> really. Really. That is dumb. That is really dumb. Okay, I'm going to try this again. All right, this time, instead of opting for blowing the truck out the first time, or drawing the... Tr blow, drawing the... Motherfucker. <laughs> okay, take two. Instead of trying to blow up the truck like I did last time, instead I'm just going to take out the Death Claw on its own, which hopefully he'll be willing to pop out. There we go. Getting some good damage on him. And I'll just... Jesus. Ooh, jeez. That was too close. That was far too close. That was way too close. Holy jeebus. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pop a couple stim packs. Because I need to. Holy jeebus. Okay. Um, also... <laughs> I'm going to see if my stuff needs repair, because that's a big old hit. Okay, didn't need that much repair. That's nice. All right, well. <laughs> okay, then. All righty, then. Is there anything to loot around the thing? No. But I did notice that there's a little cage around that thing, which means maybe those death claws were brought in by NCR? Maybe? I don't know. I'm really close to that warhead. I should move away now. Let's see. Ah, these are not worth it. Oh, the Roughing It Bedroll. I thought I skipped this accidentally. The Roughing It Bedroll kit allows you to sleep just about anywhere out under the stars. Select it in your pit boy and sleep your cares away. Which instantly allows you to deal with any sleep issue ever. So you are perfectly fine. It's great. I love it. All right. Um... I'm going to take some of the good stuff here, which is pretty much all the stuff. Wrench, uh, <laughs> motorcycle, gas tank, and handbrake. That'd be good if I could make the uh, shish kebab out of those, but that's in Fallout 3, so that's not usable here. Or at least not the way I want it to be. Uh, let's go to the laser detonator, blow this up because there's no loot nearby. And kaboom. There we go. That worked out beautifully. All right. Now, that said, uh, <laughs> it didn't feel so beautiful. Um, what I should be doing, where's my health at? Uh, I could use another stim pack to pick that up the rest of the way. Or I could use a squirrel on a stick. Let me see what my stats are at. Uh, sleep's at zero, because I had just slept at the uh, sink, so that's good. Um, food's at 30. H2O is at 20, uh, not 29, 49. Blech, I was skipping 20. <laughs> and radiation is not that bad. Okay. Alright, so I think I should be okay. I uh, should probably still eat that squirrel on a stick, though. There we go. Get the rest of the health up. Um, still have some of that. Um, pop that back on. There we go. And apparently, I was, uh, <laughs> when I was looking at the damage output, 
the damage output for a light shining in darkness is not that much different than the uh, little devil honestly at all uh it's it's a way that the perks accumulate it only shows the damage when i'm having the weapon equipped and it's it's kind of goofy in that regard but if i can get to the right menu there we go you can see how it shows the little devil has 50 but when you have it it's at 76 what it was not doing that prior <laughs> and what in the hell okay what the fuck game it was doing something goofy earlier okay a light shining in the darkness is at 69 when you select it it goes all the way up uh, 46 what okay now my game is goofing on me um what is with these deferring what in the hell it was not doing this last time <laughs> it was not doing this um that's weird. Maybe it's because of the jacketed hollow points. In fact, yeah, that's exactly what it's doing. What it's not accounting for in that damage boost is the fact that with the hollow points, the threshold for the damage from the a target goes up. So half of that damage might not be going through. So that's what's screwing me up there in that math. <laughs> okay. Whereas this, it'll cut through that damage threshold, so all of that damage is actually hitting the target. Okay, that's what the goof up is. I'm, I'm so confused. I'm usually so confused on my own, but the game goofing like that is just making it worse. Alright, I'm going to pick all that up. In fact, I think I might be able to make a work... Uh, not a workbench, a uh, weapon repair kit. Now, maybe... Uh, let me see if he's willing to make it for me, or help me make it. Yep, I can make two because of the wrenches I picked up. Awesome. That consolidates some of the weight, and I have another fucking thing. Okay, that, that's not good for me. I'm going to do a couple of these shots here. Okay. There we go. Woo! Okay. And as you can see, the DPS for the uh, gun is actually rather faster because it shoots. <laughs> well, the fire rate is so much faster than the other one. So it at least has that benefit. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to pick up the stuff that's good here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I was not expecting that one to be another death claw. I should have, but I didn't. And that was my bad, because I'm stupid. I should have known better. Okay. Alright, is there any more? I saw another enemy pip come up. Is that another fucking death claw? Can we be done with the death claws, please? I can't... I'm not close enough to actually see the fucking enemy. Okay. Or, okay, we got a whole bunch of stuff here. There we go. Survivor's Foot Locker. Ooh. A lot of good shit. Hello. I'll take all of this, please. Alright. Uh, some good stuff there. Cleaver. Combat helmet. I could use that to repair my current helmet. Uh, I could use these. A marked scout armor. That's not useful for me as of right now. We got some military crate shipping crates, rather, not crate shipping, that doesn't work, as English is supposed to work. Um, ooh, got some good stuff there too. All the stuff I'm probably going to put on Eddie anyway. <laughs> Alright, um, wait, I should have him break that stuff down, uh, or at least the rounds, that way I can actually make some more rounds for this gun. Uh, make some ammo, break down these, and there we go, get some more, beautiful, some of these, perfect, 
Got extra three from when I was firing at the other one. Uh, yeah, let's make some of these. Um, there we go. And I should make some extra 12.7. Um, oh yeah, that's the thing I should point out. Uh, I said something stupid in the Fallout 4 playthrough, and I feel I should rectify it here. Um, this is... <laughs> this gun is based on a gun in Fallout 1 and 2 and Tactics, if I remember right. Um, I never played those games. I did not realize those... <laughs> they uh, took the current gun making brands that were around at the time and had them making fictional weaponry. I said something really stupid <laughs> um, thinking that Sig Sauer, who was apparently the alleged maker of this gun, uh, had designed one of these and never actually produced one. Uh, they never did anything of the sort. <laughs> So I felt I should rectify it here in this playthrough. I'll probably rectify it in Fallout 4 later when I'm recording that. Uh, I said a dumb. I tend to do that. <laughs> Sometimes what I'm saying is stupid, and if you can correct me, you definitely should. All right. That all said and done, I should probably pop a stim pack. That way I'm at full health for whatever the fuck is down the way. And my stuff is relatively fine for the time being. Wow, I just realized the Mark II is actually lighter than the original combat helmet. How about that? Okay, uh, let's see if I can make any more ammo through Eddie. That could be useful for me. Uh, would not be able to do that. Okay, well, I'll just dump what I, well, won't use, rather, onto him. Um... I'll just keep a couple rounds on me for this, for that, rather, because that will help me later, for sure, I know. Um, let's dump these on him, dump these on him, uh, dump the laser pistol on him, uh, just looking through everything else, uh, let's, yeah, let's make him carry all of this too. Uh, yeah. Let's not dump all of that. That's actually stuff I'll need later. Uh, I can dump that on him though. I can happily do that. Alright. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. That should consolidate my weight relatively well. And onward I go towards whatever the fuck is over there. Hey boy. I'm gonna switch over to this. That was not a noise I wanted to hear. Okay. I should probably sneak it. What is over here? I'm not seeing it still. Oh, I think I see it over there now. That's going to be a long shot if I even hit it. Oh, jeez. I should try it. Oh! I did it! gonna stay up here? No, he's gonna fall off. Ah, fuck it. I only had the death claw hands, and that's really only good for, uh... Well, I mean, it's only good for loot anyway. I'm gonna pop another stim pack. There we go, because I didn't heal up all the way. And I should probably pop a rad X for whatever the fuck's in the middle of those barrels. I just ran over it, didn't I? Yeah, I did. There it is. Rad X. It all... All due respect, sir, I think you're making a mistake. We're close to a breakthrough with the Duraframe iBots. I can feel it. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir, I understand that we need the Duraframe assets for Hellfire armor, but... No, sir. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. I'll tell the team to start yeah. disassembling the ED series prototypes right away. Eddie, you little rascal, were you eavesdropping again? I think those videos you watch are a bad influence on you. How much of that did you hear? Hmm. Didn't Dr. Grant say she'd upgraded your navigational systems? And I think I have an idea. How'd you like to be just like 
Ralphie. Sounds like Dr. Whitley was a bit of a rogue element. A little bit. Yeah. Do you record everything that's said around you? <laughs> I didn't like that answer, even though it's only beeping. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'd be better be careful what I say to you, huh? <laughs> Reassuring beeping. Okay. No, Eddie, I don't want to hear your recordings of human mating calls. That's just... wrong. Okay. Calm it down now. I don't even want to know where you recorded that. Let's just get going. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's just... <laughs> Jesus. I have... I see something here. I have no idea what it is, but I see something. A lead line metal box. Oh, there's two of them. Breathing masks, which is not bad. It doesn't help me that much. Not in this current situation, but I will take the Rad X and right away, thank you. And, ooh. Ooh, this is good shit. This is good shit right here. I'll take all of this. Thank you. Please and thank you. Alright. That was very useful. I'm glad I did that. Alright, is there anything else up ahead that I should be worried about. Doesn't look like it or sound like it. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going this way. I'm gonna see if that body actually stayed up despite my feelings otherwise. Yeah, it fell. It fell and it fell good. Oh, geez. It's all the way down there and if I low any further, I will end up falling with it. That will not be pleasant for me. Okay. Well, um, we made it pretty damn far. I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Um, because, well, I mean, I'll be heading down there soon enough anyway. Looks like this little overpass ends and the only way to go is that way from the look of it. Alright, so thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. It looked like there was something over there I might want to see. And maybe. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and dealing with death claws and showing you that Dark Souls-esque trap. Because fuck that for you.